Today I'm gonna to be talking about five more things that I would do if I could talk to my younger self. These are the things I would tell myself regarding wood carving. Let's get into it. First, when I was younger, it was easy for me to get envious or jealous of people who were accomplishing more or who were better artists than I was. I knew people who were better drawers, who were better sculptors, who had more accolades, who were further along in their careers than I was as a young person, and I compared myself to them. What I'd have done differently is turn that thought of jealousy on its head. I believe that envy is just misapplied admiration. So saying that you admire something about someone only turns to envy when you say to yourself that you can't have it. And when I would look at someone who was maybe uh, better at something than me, I would say to myself, I'll never be like them. Instead of realizing that the acknowledgement of their skill was actually me finding something about them that I liked. It was admiration, it was a very positive thing. So I'd be less jealous and I'd use people as fuel for inspiration instead of using them as fuel for envy, jealousy, and self-hatred. Teach others. When I first started carving, I recognized that I loved to teach and maybe I would have liked to have done even more of it. In fact, I would have liked to have captured the journey of the carving process of growing from an early age. I wish I would have documented more of my journey through carving. How neat would it have been to have this log of knowledge, of growth, of seeing the journey of one's life happen or unfold before your very eyes on YouTube or social media. I do actually wish I would have captured a little bit more and been more diligent with that. Make things in silence. I was always listening to a podcast, some music, something to engage my left brain while I was creating things. But the power of turning the camera off, of turning the music down and the podcasts down is that when you're creating something, you're solely focused on it and you're using your left brain to decide if it's the right size, is there symmetry, what needs to change, and then in a moment, toggling back to your right brain, the creative brain, which says, don't you dare overthink it. So having the music off, being able to create something in silence, as well as capturing your content and creating pieces to share will help you to sort of focus on what it is you're doing and to be more present. Masterpieces are often made in the quiet. Your body is the lens with which you perceive your artwork, so do the best you can to take care of it. I believe that walking two miles a day through the woods, basically a hike, and lifting weights semi-regularly has improved my quality of life, improved my endurance in carving, and it's allowed me to make larger scale pieces with confidence without tiring. Your lung health and your physical health is imperative to being able to accomplish what you want to accomplish in carving, the physical task that carving is. So preserve your health, take care of your body, and don't take it for granted before it's too late. Invest in good air quality. For a good portion of my early childhood, I was using Dremels, I was using die grinders, I was using all manner of power tools without any reverence for the health of my body, for my lungs, for protecting myself. I damaged my lungs, I became sick for weeks because I stayed in this small little shack that I built with my dad's help in the shop. Preserving my health was not a big issue. I wish I could go back and tell myself to get a decent mask to wear it whenever I'm power carving, 
or chainsaw carving or doing anything that creates fine particulate, that stuff's terrible for your lungs. It's not worth enduring that and it's worth protecting your health. Use good air filtration. Um, I tend to keep three, count them three separate air purifiers going in my shop when I'm power carving. It's important because it makes the air clean in a short period of time and you can't get another set of lungs. Thanks for watching guys. I hope to see you in a new one. Remember to take care and uh, take your vitamins.